here the TUC National Trade Union Congress of Belize express its concern for full accountability and transparency in the use of the funds and to those then the Congress had written to the Prime Minister and had asked four basic questions with regards to Petro Caribe. One, the Congress wanted to know the total quantum that was signed on to. Two, the amount of that quantum that had already been used. We asked about the repayment plan that the government intended to employ for the funding that they have had. And the last one was the actual terms for use of the funds. Now, I've heard the comments that have been, and the opinions that have been passed so far, and we in the trade union movement that was at the forefront of the Finance and Audit Act, I think the first thing we have to say it up front, that we were caught napping at the helm in advocating for the timely determination and intervention of the procedures under the Act. And as such, we are here after the fact, just like everybody else. If the very procedure, Mr. President, used in acquiring the funds is questionable, what guarantees can our citizens have that there exists any accountability in the spending of, in the accounting of, the monies borrowed under the petro Carib loan agreement. Mr. President, how are contracts awarded using the petro Carib funds? To whom and by what process, we ask? Where are the necessary policies for any limited, open, or selective tendering procedures? Where is the transparency in the allocation granting and spending of these funds? Why do some constituencies benefit handsomely while others are compelled to plead for crumbs? petro funds have enabled our government to reach out to those in need. But really, I don't know how equi 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 equitable it has been. I believe that all of our representatives should be given equal share to assist their people. And as we draw near to Christmas, we hear about the Christmas cheer. We must think in terms of equality because all of our rep represent rep representatives represent people. Also, Mr. President, it is my hope that these things are being done because of a genuine concern for the poor and not for just for political gain.